Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about protein precipitation. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. Let's see what is protein precipitation. Protein precipitation is a technique which is widely used in labs to fractionate and concentrate proteins from a mixture of proteins in the solution. So generally when uh, protein expression is done in a bacterial culture or yeast culture, the protein need to be purified. One of the method for the concentration of protein is the precipitation of proteins. So this can be done in bulk from the bulk solution. The protein can be precipitated out and can be concentrated and can be used for further purification or downstream processing steps. There are different types of uh, protein precipitation methods. Uh, they are the acid precipitation, salt induced precipitation and solvent precipitation. So the acid precipitation uh, makes use of the isoelectric point. When you add uh, acid to a solution containing protein, the pH of the solution will drop. So the proteins which are having uh, uh, at the isoelectric point, if it goes below the isoelectric point, the pH goes below the isoelectric point, the protein will precipitate. This is because the amino acid will uh, attain positive charge and this will uh, causes the disruption of hydration of water molecules in the uh, protein solution and this results in the precipitation of protein. The other method is the uh, salt induced precipitation where when you add, a, uh, add the salt like ammonium sulfate to a protein solution, the salt will compete for the water molecules for the sol uh, solubility and this result in the uh, you know aggregation of proteins and further precipitating out from the solution. The other method is the solvent based precipitation for this uh, ethanol, methanol etc can be used. So this also causes the precipitation of protein from the solution mixture. So let's see the uh, principle behind the salt induced precipitation. The endocheotropic salts uh, such as ammonium sulfate and uh, sodium sulfate which exposes the hydrophobic patches on the proteins by removing highly structured water layer which usually covers the patches in the solution. So pr proteins uh, dissolved in water or in the buffer has a hydration or the water layer around the protein. When the salts are added to that, that will get disrupted and the hydrophobic patches of the protein will be get exposed. And this results in the protein-protein interaction. Uh, salt can also reduce the solubility of proteins by shielding charge groups which normally keep the proteins in solution. So normally the proteins will be insoluble in water. When uh, we add salt to the solution of uh, uh, mixture of protein, this will induce protein-protein interaction because the salt will uh, disrupt the hydration layer and that will result in the precipitation of protein. So this method is called as the salting in salting out process. When the electrostatic charges on the protein molecules are shielded, the molecules can easily interact and form aggregates and that eventually precipitate out of the solution. The solubility of different proteins is reduced to different extent by salt addition. So basically the uh, protein solubility is reduced when we add the salt and that cause that is due to the disruption of the hydration shell around the protein. So the which will uh, result in the interaction of proteins to proteins and that will lead to protein precipitation and aggregation. For salt induced precipitation, ammonium sulfate can be added uh, to the pro protein solution slowly with uh, rapid stirring under temperature control condition. Why we have to add slowly because if you add the ammonium sulfate together, this will create gradient in the solution. The salt gradient can create changes in the protein precipitation. That's why we have to add slowly and the temperature has to be maintained. Once we add uh, the ammonium sulfate to the uh, protein containing mixture, uh, this result in the precipitation of protein. The precipitated protein can be collected by centrifugation and resuspended back into the uh, desired buffer. For further purification, hydrophobic interaction chromatography or gel filtration chromatography can be used. Let's see some of the advantages and disadvantages of uh, protein precipitation. The advantages of protein precipitation are the process is simple and the sample loss is minimal and the reagent used for precipitation are less expensive 
and these are easy to perform and applicable to wide range of analyte chemistries and this process can also be automated some of the disadvantages are uh, uh, the sorting out of protein requires prior knowledge of the protein solubility and any contaminants present in the initial sample may still be present in the fraction containing protein of interest and this process concentrates the protein but it does not purify so further downstream processing need to be done to purify the protein this only helps in concentrating or fractionating the proteins and it may be necessary to remove the salt from the protein sample and so further processing in the form of either dialysis or chromatography will be required for the further purification hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you